If you're recording trainings for your team and you want to have them all in one place that can then be embedded into a Google site. I use Screencastify for this specific reason and I use Loom for pretty much everything else these days. I'm wondering why Google Workspace doesn't introduce something like Loom or Microsoft Stream for its customers to record and upload shared videos into a video library where team members can watch, comment, and basically do the same thing as Loom. I've gotta say, I agree with this one. I'd love to have Google have something in this space. Unfortunately, they've, for whatever reason, decided that it's not in their purview to build an application like this. Unfortunately, we don't have any great options within the Google ecosystem, apart from the very basic Chrome web clipping app, which lives on Chrome OS. If you're on a Windows machine or a Mac machine, you're out of luck, you can't get access to that. But I do have two strong recommendations of apps that you can use. And I'll tell you the different ways that I use them and where I use the different ones. Now, the first one is obviously Loom. It's the most popular product out on the market for recording your screen. And I really love Loom because it now has added a bunch of AI features in the last year that really make it ahead of most other things I've seen in a long time in terms of screen recorders. Loom will automatically snip some of the ums and the ahs out of my video by default. Obviously, it gives you the option to play it back at a faster speed, which is great, but it will also provide a automatic AI-generated title, and you'll also get an AI-generated summary based on the automatic transcription of your video. Now, I like these features in Loom because it makes it really quick and easy for me to share video updates with my colleagues. And I probably use Loom 10 to 20 times per day as I'm often giving a lot of feedback to my team on their work and I want to articulate sometimes something that I can't say in words or I'm faster at speaking than I am at typing. And I love Loom because it automatically gives you a URL without even having to click it, automatically puts it in your clipboard and I can literally just hit paste and paste that wherever else I'm working. Now, I happen to spend a lot of time working in my productivity suite, which is Asana, and typically we're collaborating on a task and if I give feedback, I'm just dropping that Loom video link into the task and then my team are picking up and they can watch that at their leisure. It's called asynchronous working, which means that we don't have to jump on a call, we don't have to jump into a meeting together, we don't have to DM each other back and forward and be online at the same time. I can send that feedback in a short snippet and my team could work on that at their leisure when it works for them. I'm not interrupting the work that they're doing and they're able to get back to me when they want to. Works great. Now, what's the second tool that I use and why do I use it? Well, my second screencasting favorite is called Screencastify. Now, this is a Chrome add-on, Chrome plugin again, and lives inside your Chrome browser. Now, Screencastify does one thing really, really well, and that is when a recording is finished, it will automatically upload that recording into my Google Drive. It does it in the background, it does it automatically, I don't have to set up any apps or any other features in the background or automations for that to work. It literally does it. The moment I hit stop, it's automatically uploading my video into Google Drive. And I still have the basic features like being able to click one button and generate a shareable URL that I can share with anyone else. That's really useful. But the one time that I use this or the one process that I use this for specifically is when I wanna create training for my team. When I create training for my team, I typically wanna put that into Google Drive. And that training eventually needs to be uploaded and embedded into our Google site, which is our online intranet where we store all the systems and the processes and the how-tos for our business. Now, the reason I love Screencastify is because it automatically uploads every video into Google Drive by default, I can go into that video with one click from Screencastify and I can choose the Organize Files button and that will allow me to put it into my training drive within Google Drive. And this saves me a bunch of time. If I had to do that through something like Loom or if I was even recording a meeting inside of Zoom, I'd have to download the file, I'd have to potentially process the file, and then I have to upload it into Google Drive manually, which if it's a long file, might take some time. I like that this runs in the background and is pretty much immediate for that to happen in the background. Let me give you a bit of a demo of how it works. So I'm gonna click the Screencastify button here and I'm gonna hit record and I'll just go ahead and record my screen. And here, I'm just gonna imagine that I'm giving some instructions on doing something on, on slido.com and then I hit stop sharing. Now, immediately it's going to pop up and open a fresh window and it's gonna start uploading this to Google Drive in the background automatically. Of course, it's gonna ask me to sign in again. Let's do that. Now, I'm assuming this has already uploaded it to Google Drive because I can't see it anymore, but I'm gonna 
check the video link here. So it'll give me a video link that will make it playable in the browser using Screencastify's app. But if I go down the bottom here to Google Drive, you'll see there's actually a Google Drive link. And if I click this button to view on Drive, it will open the file where it's stored on my actual Google Drive. And I can click a button here and click Organize. And that's how I can move that straight out of the Screencastify folder and into my training shared drive, which I use to share our training with our team. Here we go. So I would put that in the team training drive. So that makes things really useful if you're recording trainings for your team and you wanna have them all in one place that can then be embedded into a Google site. I use Screencastify for this specific reason and I use Loom for pretty much everything else these days. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.